Well, hello there, I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the year number of 2023 in relation to numerology and the tarot. I'm just going to switch screens over so that we can have a look at the cards and you can I've also got some notes because it's a little bit longer this video and I just sort of wanted you to be able to have the information and um, enjoy it in numerology the year number is calculated by adding the digits of the year together until you get a single digit number and I will put this in the description so you don't have to sort of be madly writing where's a pen and things like that if you are new to this for example for the year 2023, we would add 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 and we get a 7. So the numerology year number for 2023 is 7. And the significance of the year number in numerology, uh, which by the way is, if you're looking at the chariot, which I'll get to, I'll just talk about the significance of number 7. It will provide general energy and themes of that year. So the number seven is often associated with spirituality, wisdom, introspection. It can be a time of wanting to seek inner truth and inner knowledge. Uh, some people might find that they're working on personal growth and self-improvement. You may find that your uh, intuition is increased and your psychic abilities and you're also very sensitive to the spiritual realm the number seven is considered very lucky in many cultures um, it is considered good fortune um, and also associated with spiritual enlightenment as you know um, it's been connected to the divine if there's references in the bible it's also associated with the seven chakras in the human body and which are believed to be the energy centers the spiritual centers of the um, the body with the chakras so seven is a symbol of completeness perfection it's also a prime number um which means if you um you can only divide the number by itself or by its one so uh i'm going to talk about this while i've got the cards so if you're looking at seven as the uh chariot here which i will get to it's also the sum of the three cards of the magician energy the empress energy and the emperor so here we have just with the number seven the sum of three perfect numbers three perfect cards well all cards are perfect but these are high on the list <laughs> uh, and so you have this magician energy of knowing that you can achieve what you want you've got all the things that you need and you can connect to that higher source and there's a lot of optimism with this number we also have this sense of seeking abundance but also being very happy with what we've got it's going to be very important that we have with the wheat there that there's food for everyone to eat and that there's enough for everyone to go around and that we are kind to each other and that we make good decisions and that we feel that we have comforts and we can appreciate small comforts in life and with the emperor the four number uh it, it is also about um knowing that uh you can be focused and dedication and achieve what you want to achieve and what i find interesting is that venus will play an important part mercury in looking with the astrology which i'll talk about in another video and the connection with mercury for 2023 but also one of the things we've had is and I know you've probably heard it 150 times or more is the Mars energy because in a lot of um, associations uh, I know you read that this is about um, being associated with cancer with the golden dawn uh, with the Rider Waite Smith it's very do uh, golden dawn orientated but also in other tarot reading areas it can also be an energy of Mars so it's about that whole consideration of Mars in the um, energy of next year of 2023 but also the energy of um, the home with the cancer and wanting to make 
move forward with um, the home as well. So looking at the chariot now, the chariot card is often associated with Cancer. As I said before, he's the Roman charioteer. And he's um, typically in most tarot decks, he is someone driving a chariot um, drawn by two horses. And in this case, the sphinxes. This card represents a sense of control, determination and conquest, which I take as having what you want. So you're able to harness your own power and drive in order to achieve your goals. It often indicates that we are wanting or are already moving forward in our life, making plans to move forward, we're making progress, but we also need to remain focused and disciplined in order to continue on our path to success. The chariot could also suggest that we could find ourselves having um, going through periods of self-transformation and growth and also knowing There'll still be obstacles, but we have the ability to overcome them. We have all the tools and everything we need to overcome things. We are able to bring things into control because you see the Sphinx is going in two section, two ways. And so we are able to move forward. We're going to um, be very, very busy, um, for many of us, in 2023 with card number seven. So looking at that I'll just check how that's going on the screen I also wanted to sort of have a little bit of a look at the minor arcana and what seven represents in the minors because seven represents in the minors the sense of possibilities and potential and the message is to stay focused and um, if we start to overthink situations um, when seven energy can help direct us to stay on course with what we're wanting to achieve. So it's still all links, it's all links, everything's connected. And seven wants us to stay focused and make wise choices. So I just thought I'd do a quick walk through the sevens in the minor arcana so you can sort of see the connections energetically with them. So in the tarot, Miners, we have the Seven of Cups, which typically this card is associated with the state of confusion and a lack of focus, which is what is represented here with the two Sphinx heading in different directions and you're having to sort of rein that in. So this could be due to having to make a choice. We could find ourselves having choices, but also we could find ourselves having lots of possibilities because in this day and age, we have lots to choose from. Um, and so we might find in 2023 under the vibration of seven that we will benefit pay by taking time to step back and reflect and gain better understanding as to what we truly want and need but ultimately to get focused and grounded in the present moment is going to be a, a lot of help for us we also have I'll just sort of move that camera up big so I can see that I'm placing the cards on the screen so you can still see them. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Wands. Now this typically represents a challenging situation which you could find yourself in a position of needing to defend your beliefs and your position in life. It can suggest that you may be feeling um, at times a little bit attacked or outnumbered but you need to know that you have the inner strength and determination to just gently and respectfully hold your own card to tackle any um, problems that you have in 2023 by doing things one thing at a time because you will be able to take control and achieve everything because once I said we have these energies of this numbers that I talked about earlier so if you may be feeling competitive or other people around you are competitive um, well you're ready to face any obstacles and challenges that come your way because seven suggests that you are confident in yourself and your abilities and that you're ready to stand up and be open to what you believe in but in a very respectful way in a very centered way because keeping in mind our inner truth and our inner spirituality so I see that one put that there we also have the swords as the seven of swords now a lot of times this card is all about sorry I'm trying to get my notes down so I can sort of give you the right direction and it doesn't want to move <laughs> oh the joys the joys 
The Seven of Swords in the Minor Arcana is associated a lot with theft and hidden motives but it, and deception. And um, life would be nothing without those things, wouldn't it? This card often indicates that we may be feeling at times overwhelmed or outnumbered in a situation. So they're linking, everything's linking. And we're going to have to sometimes rely on our um, inner cunningness, like the fox, and a strategy in order to be able to succeed this year in 2023. We can't just blatantly go and mope along like life is good and everything's just fine. It's not a, a, a year to necessarily be just sort of coasting. We will have to have so in certain situations during the year some wit about us to be able to um, achieve what we are wanting to achieve because um, we also could find there's people around us that may be a little bit deceptive but we will also see through that because with seven our intuition is heightened but that can also be as much um, a curse because you have to weigh up each time is it worth confronting this person on something minor because you've seen through it or is it easier just to sort of um, pick your battles that's that's what I'm getting with this it's, it's this sort of war strategy stuff because he is a Roman charioteer and they were they did battle so it's about picking our battles perhaps with this know when to hold what's that Kenny Rogers song know when to walk away um, and avoid potential um, conflicts but being true to yourself all the time and there's also this need for caution with the seven of chords and careful planning in order to achieve our goals. We also, last but not least, has the seven of pentacles and it's often associated with hard work and effort. Now, if you hear any noises going along long while I make this video, I live in a city and it just lets you know that life is going on around us as we watch this video today. So this is all about hard work and the effort that you've done. And it can represent the process of planting and nurturing the seeds that you sow. Maybe they were the seeds that you sow on the full moon, uh, not the full moon, in the new moon in Capricorn that's coming up. Sorry, <laughs> there's been a lot of moon talk this year. So a lot of moon talk this year. So if you've been, if you've planted and you'll be nurturing the seeds that you planted in December on the new moon in Capricorn, both literally and figuratively. So this card may suggest that you are in the midst of a project or an investment and you might find at different times in the year when you start to see the fruits of your labour and your effort. And it can also be the, an indication that there's a feeling and a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction of the progress that you've made. And it's good to stop and pause and reflect on how far you've come, what you've achieved, what's worked, what's worked well is a good question. What's worked well for me in 2022? What's worked well at any time in 2023? If you're feeling overwhelmed or in this time of reflection and evaluation um, and you're wondering whether your efforts have been worth it, always go to what's worked well and you'll find things that have worked well will add up as they always do. And then we also are finding, well, what's the next step? Because this Seven of Pentacles is a good time to take stock on what you've achieved, plan for the future and also can indicate that time of growth and abundance that's maybe on the horizon based on the efforts that you have put in. And it's not only going to be having to make, create your abundance and have your abundance and share your abundance, but also be able to hold on to what you've got because he's busy holding things in his hand, but while staying spiritually connected to the divine. So, I hope this video has um, given you some, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. 
I hope that it's given you some insight in 2023 and the um, numerology and the tarot being linked. Uh, I will put the little formula up in the notes if you are new to numerology. And I'd like to thank you for watching um, and let me know um, anything you have any questions about this video. I'm happy to answer any questions. So once again, thanks for watching. Um, I'm just going to move this over and say I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.